But Planned Parenthood has slaughtered millions of children. The blood of the innocent cries out from the graves. For they will have their day in court. For God has appointed a day in which he will judge the living and the dead according to their deeds. There's always options, ma'am. We, uh, we actually offer to help women. Do you, do you want to hear an answer? Well, life is hard, ma'am. Because I chose not to get an abortion. That's and I raised good. that daughter till she was 10 years old and I lost my mind. Ma'am. Don't judge when you ain't got a uterus. Ma'am, because life is hard, should we murder my children? My name is Amethyst. Do you know what Amethyst represents? What is it? The what tribe represent? of Gad, one of the 12 tribes of Israel. Does, does that bring you salvation? No, ma'am. God forgives only in Christ. God forgives everything. Allah forgives everything. No, ma'am. Allah is not God. Yes. Jesus Christ is God. Allah translates from Arabic as God. That's a false God, ma'am. God a pussy. You ain't got shit to say. Ma'am, please do not die in your sins. There is salvation in no other name but Christ Jesus. There is no other, no other name under heaven by which you must be saved. That is the Lord Jesus Christ. Allah is nothing. Allah is nothing but an idol. You must turn to Christ for life. Ma'am, we shouldn't kill children because life is hard. Life is hard. But life only gets hard if we murder our children. If we incur sin and guilt, life only gets harder. Turn to Christ and live. We must believe from the heart. How's it going, sir? Do you know Jesus Christ? Didn't I talk to you the other week? You had some bad experiences at church? I just came back here. Oh, come talk to me for a second. It, was that you that I was talking to last week? Briefly? No? We at the bus stop? No, it was right here. Maybe I'm thinking of somebody else. Do you know Jesus Christ? Yeah. Here, let me unplug this. Um, we're just out here preaching the gospel uh, of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, God's yeah, the, abortion, uh, the, the, uh, the government, they're all evil. Yeah, they're yeah. putting feces in the food. Really? Everybody's eating it. I haven't heard that. Yeah, McDonald's. So McDonald's, what they're going to do is they're going to um, take away all the good food and then make sure that we have nothing to eat but that. Oh, man, don't tell me that. I had McDonald's on the way here. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, there's some... There's some uh, there's some stuff there. Yeah, there's some evil corporations and evil government they leaders. Could, they could control what we eat, what we do, and what we wear. Sure. And now the European and China, you know, all of them, they already shook hands and they cut off America's you know, supply. So I just want people to, you know, stay safe, train, fight because they are coming. They're coming for you. Sure. And force everybody to get um, Mark of the Beast. Mark of the Beast, the Bible yeah. Bible is the script. It's like it's in the past, but all that is a preparation. It's it's now. It's happening now. Yeah, it's, there's some definitely some things going on, right? I just hope that people just wake up. Sure. But what, what's your hope for the future? What's your... Uh, What's your foundation for, for peace and I just, to weather that storm? I want everybody to drop this and talk to people again, you know? Sure, yeah, yeah. 
even now I had to say bless you to someone that sneezed and I don't think they expected a person like you're a person too like I don't have a right to talk to you like mm. like I see you I didn't even know you existed but now I'm like oh this guy's nice he's cool this is healthcare in Washington pro life is pro healthcare sir oh, abortion is murder healthcare in Washington even with you Sir, you need Christ. What did he say? Uh, he's... So, um, the reason why we're here is this is an abortion clinic. Um, I, I don't want to block the sidewalk. Uh, we believe that uh, they're murdering babies in there. Or they are. Um, in here? In here, yep. So, they would have you believe that... Wait, 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 what? Yeah, this is an abortion clinic. Ugh, I they, don't want to be by the building. This, this is an evil place. We've uh, encountered many demon, maybe not possessed people, but certainly uh, demon influenced people no. in this place. No, I don't know. I don't know why they think it's right. It's literally, it's as simple as this. You're killing a baby. Yep. Yep. You're killing a baby. That's that's it. Yep. There's more to it. You want? I would want to say so much. I'm going through. It's not your job to do that because they, they don't want, they're already trying to kill everybody with the virus and they're trying to put that in the me too. Yeah. It's all, well, it's all a game. America, America is not even a, a country, it's a company. It's a, this is a test. Anything they want to do, they'll throw around here. This is just, it's just a test. Like, I don't know why people don't see that. They don't even know like that everything that comes from this car yeah. comes from this earth itself. Look around. It's like we really see that again. So I was I was asking about your hope for the future. Um, it, we we all know that we're going to die one day, right? And whether it's be from a oppressive government or just natural death, we have at best ninety, maybe a hundred years, and, and we will all return to the dust, right? So, so what do you think happens after you die? So, what happens is. You were born in this body. You were using this body because your soul is yourself. And this right here, it's like data. So whatever you're learning down here, it's your next to your higher self. And then if you like, these people right here, whatever energy they have, so you like go over there and kick somebody, that's gonna downpoint my energy. That right there is something that I did it's in my memory, so it's gonna program me. And now I become more, you know, on that side of a bad person. So when I die, whatever I have there, is I'm gonna take up to my next person. Now here's the thing though, a lot of people might cry when he questions you, because when you die, you get questioned. Right, they always say, I see a light. It's like when you're a baby, okay? You see a light before you were born again. And if you're not ready, you can't go to your next body. And just like, you know, Jesus or God, they, they're going to ask you some questions. You're going to take your riches, you're going to take my phone, my crotch, my shoes, and leave me by myself. And you're going to be like, what did you bring to me? You bring me more people to love me. And if you ain't bring him no people to love him, if you don't bring followers, if you didn't spread the message around, then what did you do? Nothing. Hold on a second. Hey, ma'am, can we uh, offer you some information for a different clinic? It's free. Sorry about that. This is, a, this is a tough place. It's a tough sell to get people to uh, turn away from this place. But uh, the reason I was asking, well, where, where do you think you'll go when you die? Um, you have to have a firm foundation for that, right? I mean, yeah. And there's a lot of people that say I wish I this and that. A long time ago. But we we can have uh, a firm foundation in the Bible. Have you ever read the Bible? Yeah. It's a. Uh, it was written thousands of years ago, and it's been sustained. Uh, with faithful translation through uh, the thousands of years. Uh, we have some of the older manuscripts that so we can go back and verify that what we have today hasn't changed in any measurable degree uh, from, uh, from yesterday. And uh, in, in God's word, we can know what, what is going to happen tomorrow after we die. What, what are the standards? What is God's standards as far as who gets into heaven? And he's given us his holy law. Um, are, are you a good person? 
trying to be. Still trying to be? <laughs> it's hard, it's hard. So, you mind if I give you a little test? It's just, uh, we run through a few of the, the Ten Commandments to see if you're a good person. Okay. Okay? Uh, have you ever lied before? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I have too. Well, yeah, uh, I mean, I had to work off of that. Sure, yeah. Really, because, you know, you really got to hold on to those things, and that's too much stress. So, if I stole something, I stole something, because that's what I did, and I have to accept it. Yeah, that, that's, uh, that was my next question, actually. So you've stolen something, I have too. Um, we're all uh, guilty of that. So what, what do you call somebody who tells lies and somebody who steals? Somebody who's not comfortable with themselves or somebody who doesn't, you know, I'm talking to myself too, who didn't, you know, take instead of working for it. Because it is sure. okay to work for something instead of yeah. just taking or acting. You know, that's how you build heart and character. You don't want to bring yourself down. So, so in a court of law, like, what would what would they call somebody who tells lies? Like, like, like normally, or does, yeah, somebody who you know, steals is a thief. Steal, somebody who tells lie. lies is a liar. You, know, you steal, you steal, you kill. It all leads up. It starts with a bug. That's what they say. It starts with a bug. Sin, sin living in us. Uh, Adam, who was our first father, he, he was the first man who who sinned, and and because of that. Uh, of humanity was cursed according to the Bible. Um, and so we're all, uh, you and I are both liars, we're thieves. Um, have, have you ever looked upon a woman with lust? Um, unless we're in a relationship, we'll, we'll definitely be attracted to each other. Sure. But it's like, no, not like staring at them and no. Have you ever looked at pornography? Oh yeah, most definitely. Yeah, I remember uh, we were in class. And somebody's like, "Have you? Do you know what this side?" I said, "I never know. This is, exists." I'm like, walk, walk, walk. I said, "Yeah, it's all you. It's all you need right there." And I told him, "That's the pleasure." And then, it's like a, if you really look at it. If you really look at it, you just take away the phone and actually realize that it's not. It's not, it's not working. It really isn't. Jesus said, uh, whoever looks upon a woman with lust has committed adultery with her already in his heart. Uh, you, know, you know what adultery is, right? What is that? It's, um, so like if somebody were to have sex with a woman outside of marriage, so that would be um, not according to God's word, God's law. Um, or to, to fornicate would be to... Um, uh, oh, like adultery, like kind of. You know, well, like, looking at pornography would be like lust and, and yeah. yeah, fornication. So uh, Jesus said that we have committed those things in our heart if we've looked upon a woman with lust and pornography. I, of course, have looked at pornography in the past. So we're. we're um, it's all. It's, it's all. Uh, I'm pretty sure everybody. Because because that's that's they did it on they did that on they knew they knew exactly what they were doing. You're so right. They they want to make sure that they can spread the meat, everything bad that they're doing out to us. So when the time comes, we can go down with them. That's the point. And there's they put in the music too. Yeah. And um, there's one more. I have one more question. So uh, have you ever uh, taken God's name in vain? Like say, uh, OMG or no, no, no. Because I, if I said I'll always like fade out the love, like oh my gosh. Because if I ever said no, it, it, it even in like 2013, I remember it was like oh my god. I, I can't. Even, I don't even want to say because it, it does sound wrong. Yeah. Well, because I kept. I used to get in trouble for it. You not even said it once. I mean, yeah, I've said it like more than. A dozen times, yeah. more probably more than twenty times in my lifetime. But, but I have two, man. It's like after I say it, I'd be like, "Oh my gosh!" I'm like, oh. Yeah, I look up. Oh, that's good. You have, you have a certain knowledge of that you need to be respecting God's holy name because because you have, um yours you wouldn't use your mother's name as a cuss word, right? No, you, you respect her, right? Not not at all. 
I'm sorry. Yeah, I do. I'm like, I wouldn't need, that's why yeah. I'm thinking about it like, oh no, she would slap me. <laughs> so God is, has given us our mother and we respect them, but um, God has given us life and uh, the trees and this beautiful day and uh, opportunities to... Um, trees are deeper. And so, so God has given us all these things, and yet we blaspheme His name. It's called blasphemy, is what taking His name in vain is called. So, even if we've done it once, we've broken. Uh, I think it's the second commandment. Uh, and so, so um, what I'm getting to, and the reason for all these questions, and this isn't me judging you. This is for you to judge yourself. You told me you're a, a lying, thieving blasphemous yeah, adulterer yeah, yeah. at heart, right? And you have to face God on Judgment Day. I know. So will you be innocent or guilty? I'm pretty sure that I can have a good conversation with him, you know? But according because, to his law, would yeah. you be innocent or guilty? No. I would be guilty, but he will still fill my heart the way that I'm talking about how much I've changed. Much I never gave up. Now I actually, every time I see a person, I want nothing to do with them but good. You know, like, oh, hi, how you doing? That's yeah. why I came over here to you. I could have passed you up, but I was like, it's no problem. What I would challenge you with, uh, just just looking at this, um, that God has appointed a day that you will judge the earth and uh, judge judge man according to his deeds. And so we've kind of set up a, a little court case here, right? And in a, in a human court case, let's say I, I did a horrendous crime and I went before the judge and I said, you know, I'm guilty, judge, but but I have a, I have a good heart and I've done good things since. Do you think that you let me off? No, that's their law. The God is just also. If, if we expect justice from a human court, how much more should we they know might, that? You might have to do your time. So that's what I don't want for you, my friend. What, what, what's your name, by the way? Nick. Nick my name's Mike. Nice to man. Uh, so that's kind of the, the point of all these questions that I want to get to the gospel. But um, we don't feel like we need a gospel until we know the depths of our sin. And um, So I think we've established that you and I are both broken God's holy law and are in, in need of a, a savior of some sort, right? Some way to get us out of the bind that we're in and God sent his only son to come into the world to save sinners and uh, so um, what if we if we are in a, a court scene and we've got a, a rack of speeding tickets we're probably going to jail if somebody pays our fine we, we're free to go right like Justice must be served, the, the time must be um, served, the, the fine must be paid, right? And that's what Jesus did on the cross. You've heard about Jesus on the cross, right, at some point in your life? So that's, um, everybody knows that, but, but what most people don't understand is that um, we all broke, the God, broke God's holy law, we're deserving of wrath, but God paid, or Jesus paid the fine. And so what we must do is repent of our sin uh, and then trust in Him so, uh, to forgive us. Difficult. What's that? Not even difficult. Well, it's a free gift, right? God gives us grace and He gives us His gospel and it's a free gift of salvation. So you don't have to do any works. You don't want to clean up your life. Come to God uh, repentant and come to God in humility saying, I I'm a sinner, please forgive me, right? That's the, the basics of the gospel. And then what you must do is, is walk in your repentance, trusting that um, you, you have to obey God's law, uh, not perfectly, we're not talking about perfection, because you and I will still both stumble and fall, yeah. but we have to trust all the more in God's forgiveness in Christ. So, so if, you di if you died today, You'd end up in your sin and you'd go to hell. But, um, but the offer to you, the free offer of the gospel, is that if you repent of your sin and believe in Christ, you can be forgiven and you can have eternal life. So when do you think you'll do that? Do I think that I'll do that? Yeah, when do you, when do you think you'll... You, we want to think about it? Um, will, you, will you think about it? Sorry. 
I haven't done this a whole lot. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I definitely would go to you know, a higher power. You know. Don't go to a, an obscure higher power. Go to the Lord Jesus Christ through his scriptures. Do you have a Bible at home? No, I don't read the Bible because no more because it was pieces of it was cut out by George Washington and it was given out to people to, you know, feel like they could believe in something because they couldn't comprehend life itself. It's like numbers, the calendar. They didn't think, they, they wanted to keep people in a box. They didn't want them to explore. Because if I didn't know what time was, nobody knew what time it is, they'll be walking around all the time, free. They just want to keep people trapped. No, I, I told you before, though, that they've uh, they've got the oldest, some of the oldest manuscripts, and they can go back and verify that what we have today is not significantly changed from what was originally I know, written. Well, definitely, that history was washed. You know, their likings and the map is really nice. Because, it, especially the way the plane, the fact that I could drive across the state in one day, but a plane can take this much to go over here, it just don't make no sense. I don't know. I'm pretty awoke. You probably don't know, but I, I know a lot. It's bad. There, um, it's, it's, it's a little, some, some of the things I wish I never knew, because I look at everything different. There's I a lot guess. of information out there. All day. There's a lot of information out there, but not all of it is true. And I can tell you that you can trust in the scriptures, the holy scriptures. I'm going to trust been... in the Lord. The reason why is because the devil is going to send out people and make them think they can be their own God. You know, he's not. He's not going to say that. It's just a turn on. But God says something like that. He said, "Don't turn on me." Sorry, hold on a second. Hello, ma'am. You like to donate money to people who murder? No, they murder children, ma'am. And you put that in your name. God knows. God knows. Yeah. He knows what she's doing. Yep. We all, uh, according to the scriptures, are uh, suppressing the truth and unrighteousness. So, what I'm what I'm trying to get at is the scriptures are the only foundation that you can trust. Outside of that, there's just a bunch of mere mortal men spouting off information, maybe to deceive, maybe just because of confusion. But the God has provided us His word. Keep the commandments in mind all the time. No, no, no. Keep Christ in mind all the time, because you we have established together, right, that you can't keep the commandments. We've all already broken them, and so we need to trust Christ that He, uh, He was sinless. He came to this world. He was God, born of a virgin, and He didn't sin a single time. Uh, I gotta go inside soon, but I'm not in a rush. Yeah, yeah, no problem. I don't want to. I don't want to keep you. But, uh, so, yeah, if um, yeah, she's a saint for sure. Yeah. It's wives, postures, and the little gun. The way that she came and walked out, and her pattern was off too, and her voice, it kind of skipped three times. You know, we have I don't even know. So, uh, um, have you ever read the book of John? Uh, you can get an app on your phone that will have the Bible. Read the book of John. See what it says about Christ. It says some amazing and wonderful things about him. It says that he was God, that he created all things, and through him was not anything made. Um, and, and it tells the story of how he worked miracles to prove, to, to establish that he was God in the flesh, and that he died for our sins and rose again from the dead. Um, the King James Bible? King James is okay. I would recommend the ESV, English oh, Standard John, Version. Okay, John's Book Revelation? Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'm going to install that. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to go, though. All right, man. I'll read about it. What was your name again? Uh, Nick. Nicholas. Nick. Right, yeah, Nick. Nice to meet you, Nicholas. Yeah, you too, man. Yeah, think about it. Read the Gospel of John. And, um, yeah. 
Uh, and you can know the scriptures are authentic. They, they have, they've not been corrupted. All right. All right, take care. All right. See you.